Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll learn how to transform images from low resolution to high quality using the concept of image upsampling. Image upsampling is the process of increasing an image's resolution by filling in the missing details, but instead of simply stretching pixels, AI models like the one we'll use today intelligently predict and enhance the details, making the images look sharper and more realistic. Now that we understand what image upsampling is, let me introduce the model we'll be using today. It's called Real Enhanced Super Resolution Generative Adversarial Network, and I've already placed it in my working directory. If you'd like to follow along, you can download the same model by heading to the GitHub page linked in the description. On the GitHub page, you can simply press Ctrl plus F or Command plus F on Mac to search for x4plus.pth. Once you find it, just click the download button to save it to your computer. To demonstrate how this works, I'll use this image. As you can see, its resolution isn't great, but don't worry, by the end of this tutorial, you'll see the amazing difference after applying the model. First, we import the necessary libraries. These include Torch for working with the model, NumPy for handling arrays, and Pell for loading and saving images. We also import the architecture of the model and its helper class for performing the upsampling. Next, we specify the path to the pre-trained model file. Then we load the model state dictionary, which contains the weights trained to enhance image resolution. Since I'm working locally and don't have a GPU available, I'm loading it onto the CPU. However, if you do have access to a GPU, you can load it there for faster performance. Now let's define the architecture of our model using ARDBNet, which is specifically designed for super resolution tasks. This model has several important settings that make it effective. First, we specify the number of inputs and output channels as three because we're working with RGB images, which have three color channels, red, green, and blue. Next, we set the number of feeders maps in the first layer to 64. Feeder maps are what the model uses to capture patterns and details from the image, and 64 strikes a good balance between quality and efficiency. The model also uses 23 blocks called residual and residual dense blocks, or RRDBS, which are responsible for learning how to enhance image details effectively. To help these blocks share information internally, we define 33 growth channels, which allow the model to extract richer features. Lastly, we specify a scaling factor of 4, meaning the model will upscale the resolution of the input image by 4 times. Once the architecture is set up, we load the pre-trained model weights to ensure the model is ready for processing images with all these settings in place. Next, we initialize the real ES Ergoner, which is a high-level interface for applying the model to our images. Let's take a closer look at the parameters we're setting here. First, the scale is set to 4, which tells the model to upscale the image resolution by a factor of 4, resulting in a much larger and sharper image. Then we provide the model path to specify the pre-trained weights we downloaded earlier, and we pass the model architecture we defined. The tile parameter is set to 0, which means tiling is disabled. Tiling is often used to break large images into smaller chunks for processing, but in this case, it isn't needed because our input image is small enough to fit into memory without tiling. Similarly, prepad is set to zero because we don't need any additional padding for our images. Finally, the half parameter is set to false. This is an important detail because it specifies whether to use half precision calculations. Using half, pre half precision can save memory and speed up computations, but it requires a GPU to work efficiently. Since I'm running this on a CPU, I've set half to false. To ensure compatibility, if you're using a GPU, you can enable half precision for faster processing. Now, we load the input image using PIL and convert it to an RGB format. Ensuring it has the correct color channels, then we convert the image into an NumPy array to prepare it for processing by the model. Here, we pass the image to the upsampler, which applies the real ESRGAN model to enhance its resolution. The outscale parameter ensures that the output image is scaled up by four times its original resolution. Finally, we convert the enhanced image back into a format that can be saved using PIL, and we save the result as output.png. 
So we are ready to execute the code and see the magic happen. Our output image is now ready and as you can see the quality is much better. Here you can see both the input and the output images side by side. As you can tell the result is pretty amazing. The enhanced image has much sharper details and a clear overall look. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.